Hello everyone. Today in this session, let us see about determination of foreign exchange rate in a free market. But before that, let us see quickly what is foreign exchange, what is foreign exchange rate, and what are the different types of foreign exchange rates. Foreign exchange. It refers to all the currencies other than the domestic currency of a country. For example, India's domestic currency is Indian rupee. and all other currencies like british pound us dollars japanese yen etc or foreign exchange foreign exchange rate it is a price of one currency in terms of another currency or we can say it is a rate at which exports and imports of the country are valued at a given point of time for example 1 dollar is equal to rupees 75 means 75 rupees are needed to get 1 dollar or 1 rupee is equal to 0.013 dollars types of foreign exchange rates there are three different types of foreign exchange rates fixed exchange rate flexible exchange rate hybrid system of exchange rate like managed floating in case of fixed exchange rate the exchange rate is fixed by the government flexible exchange rate is determined with the help of demand and supply forces of foreign exchange and in case of hybrid system of exchange rate like managed floating the exchange rate is determined with the help of demand and supply forces of foreign exchange but the central bank can intervene if it feels that it is necessary to do so now let us see about foreign exchange market foreign exchange market It is a market where the foreign currencies are traded for one another. Foreign exchange market is a system, not a place. Here, foreign currencies are bought and sold. Foreign exchange market depends upon two factors. One is demand for foreign currency, and another one is supply of foreign currency. Let us first see the sources of demand for foreign currency. Demand for foreign currency arises due to various reasons. Some people import goods and services from abroad, so they demand foreign currencies to make the payment. In order to go on foreign tour, we need foreign exchange. Foreign exchange is needed to make the payments for unilateral transfers like sending gift abroad. Some want to purchase assets like land, shares, bonds, etc. in foreign countries. so they demand foreign currencies and some people speculate on the value of foreign currencies they want to make gain out of these speculative activities so these are the various sources of demand for foreign currency if we observe the relation between the rate of foreign exchange and demand for foreign exchange both are inversely related in the figure shown here we can see dd is the demand curve for foreign exchange which is sloping downwards from left to right when the rate of foreign exchange is or the demand for foreign currency is oq when the rate of foreign exchange is or1 the demand for foreign currency is oq1 this shows that there is inverse relationship between rate of foreign exchange and demand for foreign currency that is higher the rate of foreign exchange lower will be the demand for foreign currency or lower the rate of foreign exchange higher will be the demand for foreign currency but why it is so when the rate of foreign exchange falls the foreign goods become cheaper for domestic country that is domestic country can purchase more amount of foreign goods in order to import more goods the demand for foreign currency rises or it may be that people may want to go on foreign tour or one may want to purchase assets abroad or it can be that people want to make gain from speculative activities so when the rate of foreign exchange falls the demand for foreign currency rises i hope the relation between the rate of foreign exchange and demand for foreign currency is clear to you now let us see some sources of supply of foreign currency 
supply of foreign currency arises due to various reasons when foreigners purchase home country's goods and services through exports there is supply of foreign exchange when foreigners invest in the home country there is supply of foreign exchange there is supply of foreign exchange when unilateral transfers are received in the form of gifts or remittances from abroad supply of foreign exchange occurs from those who want to speculate on the value of foreign exchange so these are the various sources of supply of foreign exchange now let us see the relation between the rate of foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange from the diagram it is clear that the supply curve is sloping upwards from left to right higher the rate of foreign exchange higher will be the supply of foreign currency or lower the rate of foreign exchange lower will be the supply of foreign currency when the rate of foreign exchange is or the supply for foreign currency is okay when the rate of foreign exchange is or1 the supply of foreign currency is oq1 thus it is clear that both are positively related but why it is so why the supply curve is sloping upwards from left to right there are various reasons like when the rate of foreign exchange falls the domestic goods become costlier for foreign countries that is the foreign countries can purchase less amount of domestic goods now it leads to fall in the export of domestic goods therefore the supply of foreign currency falls or it can be that when rate of foreign exchange falls tourism to the domestic country becomes expensive so supply of foreign currency falls i hope the relationship between the foreign exchange rate and the supply of foreign currency is clear to you now let us see the determination of equilibrium rate of foreign exchange in the free market in the foreign exchange market equilibrium rate of foreign exchange is determined with the help of demand for foreign currency and supply of foreign currency equilibrium rate of foreign exchange it is that rate of exchange at which the demand for foreign currency is equal to the supply of foreign currency now look at this diagram it is clear that dd is the demand curve for foreign currency ss is the supply curve for the foreign currency dd and ss intersect at point e therefore equilibrium rate of foreign exchange determined is or eq and equilibrium quantity of foreign exchange determined is oq eq the demand and supply forces together have determined the equilibrium rate of foreign exchange if there is change in demand or supply of foreign currency the equilibrium rate of foreign exchange also changes let us take the case of increase in demand when there is increase in demand for foreign exchange the demand curve will shift to the right side that is from dd to d1 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 intersects ss at point e1 therefore the new equilibrium rate of foreign exchange determined is or eq1 now equilibrium quantity of foreign exchange determined is oq eq1 this shows that foreign exchange rate has increased there is depreciation of domestic currency that is fall in the value of home currency in terms of foreign currency so whenever there is fall in the value of home currency in terms of foreign currency in the market it is known as depreciation of home currency depreciation of home currency will lead to rise in exports as domestic goods have become cheaper for the foreign country now let us take the case of increase in supply from the diagram it is clear that when there is increase in supply of foreign exchange supply curve will shift to the right hand side that is from ss to s1 s1 dd intersects s1 s1 at point e1 
therefore new equilibrium date of foreign exchange determined is or eq1 new equilibrium quantity of foreign exchange determined is oq eq1 this shows that foreign exchange rate has decreased that means there is appreciation of domestic currency that is rise in the value of home currency in terms of foreign currency appreciation of home currency will make imports cheaper that's why imports will increase let us take a numerical example to understand depreciation and appreciation of domestic currency depreciation of domestic currency let us suppose that 1 dollar is equal to rupees 75 initially now 1 dollar is equal to rupees 80 it is clear that there is depreciation of rupee and appreciation of dollars it means exports from india have become cheaper so foreign countries will demand more goods which will lead to rise in the export of india appreciation of domestic currency let us suppose that 1 dollar is equal to rupees 75 initially now 1 dollar is equal to rupees 70 it means 1 dollar can be exchanged for less rupees so it is clear that there is an appreciation of domestic currency imports from foreign country become cheaper this will lead to rise in imports of the domestic country i hope depreciation and appreciation concepts are clear to you here one more important point is to be noted depreciation and devaluation both imply a fall in the external value of a currency and both generally lead to increase in the export of the country but both are different reason depreciation is done through market forces whereas devaluation is done by the government similarly it should be noted that appreciation and devaluation both imply a rise in external value of a currency and both generally lead to rise in imports of the country but both are different reason appreciation is done through market forces whereas revaluation is done by the government thus it is clear that in the foreign exchange market equilibrium rate of foreign exchange is determined with the help of demand for foreign currency and supply of foreign currency now it's the question time go through the questions carefully and answer them all currencies other than the domestic currency of a country are called foreign exchange option d is correct identify the correct reasons that may affect the demand for foreign exchange in an economy the correct option is d imports of visibles and purchase of assets from abroad will increase the demand for foreign exchange in the economy question 3 read the following statements given below and choose the correct alternative assertion investments from abroad cause fall in foreign exchange rate reason investments from abroad lead to decrease in supply of foreign exchange the correct answer is option c assertion is true but reason is false investments from abroad lead to increase in supply of foreign exchange so therefore investments from abroad will lead to fall in foreign exchange rate question number 4 choose the incorrect one from the following given statements 
डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ करेंसी प्रमोट्स एक्सपोर्ट्स ऑफ ए कंट्री ट्रू एंड इंक्रीज इन डिमांड फॉर इम्पोर्टेड गुड्स रेज द डिमांड फॉर फॉरन एक्सचेंज ट्रू ए चेंज फ्रॉम वन डॉलर इज इक्वल टू रुपीज एटी टू वन डॉलर इज इक्वल टू रुपीज एटी फाइव इंडिकेट्स डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ रुपी इट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू बिकॉज नाउ यू आर पेइंग मोर रुपीज इन ऑर्डर टू गेट वन डॉलर दैट इज देर इज डेप्रिसिएशन ऑफ रुपी सप्लाई फॉर फॉरन एक्सचेंज राइजेस वेन मोर गुड्स आर इम्पोर्टेड फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज फॉल्स दिस इज द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑप्शन डी इज द इनकरेक्ट स्टेटमेंट इट शुड बी सप्लाई फॉर फॉरन एक्सचेंज राइजेस वेन मोर गुड्स आर एक्सपोर्टेड टू अदर कंट्रीज और डिमांड फॉर फॉरन एक्सचेंज राइजेस वेन मोर गुड्स आर इम्पोर्टेड फ्रॉम अदर कंट्रीज with this this session now comes to an end hope you have understood clearly about the determination of foreign exchange rate in free market thank you prepare well for your exams all the best